All right, in this nasty junk mobile. Bring your car to a shop like that to go laugh at you. All right, pegged oil pressure. Made a video. There you go, you plugged it in. It says it has like 230 pounds or something like that. 120 pounds or something. When the engine's off, that's cool. Oh, it's still burning hot underneath here. You might have to abandon this. Damn it. Because they keep on riding around all day. They keep on riding around. So it doesn't get done. Yeah, this thing's burning hot again. It's not even going to reach back there. You got to do it on a cool engine. And uh, oil pressure switch is all the way back there. And it's hidden. I'm not spending two dollars on this shit because the title's not in my name, but if you could, you would replace all this wiring loom and all this crap. If you go on the top though, you kind of see it. On that corner over there, you got wires going, and you just follow the wiring harness and you'll find the switch back there. You barely even see it. But it's freaking hot in this thing. I might have to abandon this. I just can't believe that though, that this all bust apart and then you have wiring issues. Look at that. Look at that. See this? It turns, it turns into dirt. Is this insane? I sure think it is. Well, there goes the wiring loom. Recycled. Hold things like it. Back to the rear bumper. GM quality. Oh yeah, 1994, it, it didn't happen to it. They started screwing this shit up in like 96 or so, and or 97, I think it was, it was like 97, 98. And uh, it's the same problem. You know, that's why you don't buy American vehicles for. I'm done. That's just amazing. That, that all this falls down there. Even if you're kind of tall, you still need a step stool to get over on this, or you can crawl off the engine bay. But it's hot. But I got the connector off finally, and the little grommet thing that's stuck on it. Now we just got to get that off. What a pain in the ass, though. It's not really worth it for the owner of this thing, but we'll manage. Yeah, cover got to come off. This is like the worst video. Other people have other stuff. Let's see if we can get this on here now. With a swivel. Oh no, we gotta sell our tools though. You gotta get rid of all our tools. We'll explain it one day. Drive New York clean. Trash that place. Who cares? So like something like this. Snap on. Swivel. Maybe like... What's that? So like a 6 inch or 8 inch extension. I think I got a 6 inch or somewhere. We're just changing the battery and condo wire. Batteries in the back of the engine bay. Yep, there we go. Maybe that will get on there. Yeah, hopefully you're doing this in like cold weather so you can wear long sleeves so you don't cut yourself up. There's a lot of sharp things like this thing over here you want to cut yourself on and but we got it on. There we go. With a wobbler, a universal, and a uh, snap off or any brand really. Oil pressure socket. Let's try to get that thing off. Yeah, you need a long freaking ratchet, man. That thing's on there tight. Should warranty this wobbler. It doesn't quite fit in there well. And, uh, yeah, we cracked it loose. It is on there tight, man. You wind up to scratching up your arms and everything. You kind of see it in there? See it? That's what you're working with. Not too hard. Some people said it took them two hours. Really? It doesn't take two hours. Alright, there it is. kind of has like a hot oil smell. I don't know what's up with that. Maybe the motor's just blowing up. A lot of dirt all around it, but you know, it's what it is. There's probably some dirt in that hole. But luckily it stays in your old socket. This always gets stuck. You need that for the connector. Pull that out. And there you have it. And it's hand threaded in there. It's in there, believe me. And use your apparatus and just tighten it back up. There we are, back up on it. it takes Really not that long. Again, I don't know why people are complaining about this. Alright, let's go get a shorty flex ratchet though. Flex ratchet helps. Hippie. Using tough quality tools for the most piece of shit vehicle there is. And uh, tighten that up. Has to go pretty tight. I did notice this. And the rubber came out of the connector. I don't know what that's all about. I don't know. Put it back though, I guess. So I gotta 
find my connector. Don't put your battery your tools anywhere around your battery, of course. But it's tight. I didn't go too monkey on you know, too much. I like how the factory one has silicon around it, and the aftermarket ones do not. Hmm. Hmm. So I thought I'd show this. The white piece is part of the connector. Did you see over there in the end? And then just put that rubber uh, gasket back around it. The weather, whatever. Plug it back in. Hopefully this crap works. I'm having problems with the new sensor. That little rubber o-ring gasket on it. It doesn't want to like squish down far enough. On the new one. It does work though. The gauge is low now. Or at normal. Normal whatever. Not that it's very accurate. I just started it. Hopefully you don't have oil explosion back there. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is with that. It doesn't latch down all the way. See it though. Oh wow, back to normal. Wow. That's cool. I don't know why that, it's still not latched still good with that new standard part. I don't know. That's how you do it. 11 16 sensor socket. There we go. 8 to 6, I mean 6 to 8 inch. Flex ratchet helps. And there you go. Done. Fix your screwed up oil pressure. Then put your stupid cover back on. Yay. The easiest part of the job. You just really wind up cutting up your arms. Like I said before, that's sweat coming out of there. Juicy. You just wind up really cutting up your arms. So if you make an apparatus like this, swivel, this is 3 8 drive. Some of these things are half inch, which is stupid, I think. 8 to, uh, I mean, 6 to 8 inch extension or a wobbler, and then flex ratchet, and a really long one. Get the old one out. You don't need a long one to put it back in. And uh, there you go. No leaks for now. The connector did seat down better now. I don't know what that deal was. I don't know. That rubber gasket is a, uh, a real bear. It could be this swollen this from ages. It seems to be seated though. Alright, definitely scrap and it's not leaking. It's all the way in that back corner. Some people said it took two hours. It didn't take that long. It took me an extra 10 minutes when I couldn't get the connector back on. I took the uh, sensor out to make sure it fit the connector, which I should have did in the first place. And I was being lazy. Yeah. Silicon. I should have silicon the new one. Yeah, I don't know what's up with these things and why they go bad, but they do. I don't know. I mean, you know, someone would say, oh, you need an oil pump. All oh, your... Your lifters are bad. Oh, your engine needs a total rebuild. Like all the YouTube people every day. No. No, no, no. Is that paint peeling? No, it isn't. Dead fly. Still got my scan tool. Verify the repair. The other video, I used this when it was pegged. Turn this off, we don't need that. Oh, another thing we fixed. We fixed the blower. Hold on, I'm not pressing the right button, this enters. Diagnostics. We'll see what we're reading now in our scan tool. Okay. We got body, I think it was. I think it was in our body instrument cluster. Yeah. Uh, base radio. Okay, continue. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Something was in here. Instrument panel cluster, data display, this, it might have been data 2, it might have been data 2. There we go, look at that. Monitor displayed, it was like cranked before. It was cranked to like 120. No response. No response. Okay, verify the repair. So you know your sender's bad when you go into your scan tool and it's reading some wacky reading. What the hell is that? 
I don't know if they set any codes or anything either. I don't even know. Do we set any codes? I don't know. I'm calling this one good. There's no oils on the ground. That is one repair done. And like, comment, subscribe, and again, 1 and 1 16. Some people say this is the wrong size and it doesn't work and they broke off this. I'm thinking they broke it off because they monkeyed this thing on like sideways, like this. They didn't get it on and then they just cranked it and they probably cracked it off. You know, people blame the product. You really got to make sure that this is seated good with the socket before you crank on it. And again, longer socket helps. That's what an A A120 part number for that. Not cheap, but you might find one. And this I should warranty it doesn't hold very well on the ball anymore. That's from like 1966 or something, probably 86. I don't know. Old as hell.